Yo YouTube, it's your bro Yo Elliot here and today I'd like to introduce you to my new pussy. Yes, that's right. Her name is Yoni. And uh, for those of you who don't know that uh, Yoni actually means vagina. And so since I have so many women in my house, um, all who have their own Yonis, <laughs> When my wife Colleen decided that she wanted to bring home a new cat because her friend was uh, giving them away, a new kitten, I said, let's name her Yoni. And so I've got my own Yoni. In fact, last night, Yoni stayed in our room and Yoni slept on my head. So I had pussy on my head, I had pussy on my neck, in my armpit. Man, I got pussy all over the place. But this is my pussy. So this is like MGTOW at its, at its finest. Get your own, get your own Yoni bros. <laughs> so anyway, the real point of this video today is to uh, let you know about my statistics or my measurements before I go into my training program here. So this morning, Colleen measured me at uh, eight different locations. Neck, shoulders, chest, arms, waist, and legs. You know, both quads and calves. And um, and so those are my starting those are my starting measurements um, at 203 pounds this morning when I woke up. Uh, as soon as Colleen finished measuring me, I had a big old bowl of grits and scrambled eggs. And so for the rest of the day here today, I'm going to be going to get a uh, I'm going to get some structural energetic therapy done. You guys may have never heard of this. It's called SET structural energetic therapy, and it was just so fascinating that I found out about it and that the the guy who created it lives here in Tampa. And uh, so what, what makes structural energetic therapy different than typical massage therapy or um, neuromuscular therapy is that it includes the energetic aspect of things. So when we're doing the therapy, there's a lot of deep breathing. You know, when he's doing the soft tissue work, his name's Alan, and he does the soft tissue work on me, particularly on my legs, because I've got that torn Achilles tendon I told you about and I've got a ton of muscular imbalance along that side I'm kind of like crooked a little bit because I've been walking around in a weird hobbling way for the past year uh, well, it's not so bad any longer because he's been working on me a lot but as he's working on my structure I breathe and I make noise I shout the interesting thing about structural energetic therapy is that uh, you're encouraged to make noise. You're, he's in, encourages me to shout when there's pain there because when you can release through shouting, when you're feeling that pain, it actually feels better and the muscle lets go. The muscle releases a lot better. You can just imagine, you know, somebody's pressing on a muscle that's really tense and tight. The more you tighten down, the more you bite down, or the more you try to stifle it down, the less that muscle can actually release. But when Alan's working on my tissue, I'm pointing here, but I really mean my legs, when he's working on my legs, like he'll be working on today, and I go, ah, ah, it just, it, not only do I feel relief in my lungs, because I'm not hold it, biting down or trying to fight it, I'm open, you know, when I shout, my eyes open, my mouth opens, Ah, it opens my open tube, so my belly's relaxed, my throat is relaxed. Shouting really opens up and relaxes a big part of you know your, your body. Well, anyway, not only do I feel that sense of like openness ah, when he's digging into my calves and working on these muscles that are really hard and painful, but I can actually feel the muscle themselves let go and begin to relax and it's a lot easier for him to work. A lot of times when I know when he's going to be working on parts of my body that have uh, that are really tight, have a lot of pain, um, he'll work with my breathing. So, you know, if he's going to go into the tissue and I know he's going to go in deep somewhere, you know, along the line of fascia, I'll take a deep breath and then as I'm exhaling, that's when he, that's when he goes in and does the the myofascial release. And so as I'm exhaling and shouting, that muscle's just relaxing. Interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. You know, you tend to think that like someone who's shouting is uh, is dealing with a lot of tension, but a person who's shouting is, is exhaling. And when you're exhaling, like I've said in other videos, you're letting go, <laughs> right? So think about the next time you're having 
pain in any way, shape, or form. If you've watched a lot of my old YouTube videos when I was doing straw man training, I'm a loud motherfucker. Like, ah, ah, when I'm pulling on sleds or uh, look at one of my very first videos on the channel when I was flipping a tire. Flipping a thousand pound tire, I was about 190 pounds, and I go, ah, 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 and I'm flipping it up because every time I exhale, ah, I'm projecting my power, moving my power forward. Very powerful, very interesting stuff. So if you're lifting and like you get, you guys are getting stuck, you're stuck in your lip, you go, ah, you might find that you can get through it. Not every time, and not everybody knows how to do it, but oh, but it does work. Oh, check out my new little pussy hair. Mm. Say hi, Yoni. Mm. I like how Yoni sounds like Yo E, Yo Elliot, Yo Elliot, and Yoni. I think I'm her favorite already. Last night, like I said, she was sleeping all over me, man. So um, what I'll do is, okay, so today I'm getting that work done. And then uh, I'm also gonna take my kids, we're gonna go get haircuts. Me, Benjamin, and Simone, my daughter Simone, has a short hair like her mama. So we go to my barber. Those of you guys who've been following me during my tunnel experience and when I was hiding from you, uh, while I was hiding, I decided to grow my hair out. So for a long time there, I had this big mohawk was like this big and then I tied it back and then I dreaded it and then I cut it off and now that I'm ready to emerge as yo once again my hairs I'm, I'm going back to my normal hairstyle like you may have seen in some of my older videos you know so Carlos the barber spiritual barber maybe you'll get a chance to meet him today uh, he's gonna be working on me working on getting me looking sexy once again so that's it, y'all. Just wanted to share my measurements with you so you know where I'm starting. Here's what I look like. And, uh, and tomorrow you're going to get the video that has my very first workout that I'll be doing in this new bodybuilding routine done. In our schools, and that's the one that blows my mind. I have law students that come into my program here and study for the summer and they can't tell me what's in the First Amendment. Wow. So listen, I, I talk to older Americans who have a trouble distinguishing between the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. ...that they are based on. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today to the Liberty Report. Please come back soon. Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the Liberty Report. Close the door behind. You're going to sit up front or in the back? You look good. Who's next, man? Hair everywhere. Let me see, you like it the way it is? Snow. Snow in August. Hi, Dad. What do you say? Just checking out your hair. Is that the way you, you want it? That's the way you like it? Dad, you can put it on YouTube with snow? Yep. Oh, thumbs up for a fresh breath. <laughs> Well, you liked it that last time? I don't know. Hey, Ben. <laughs> I know he's going to be a little late. <laughs> Hop in. Yep, that rain is coming. Get in. 